technical progress and human capital formation. So now what we are going to look at is that how can you first of all define technical progress, right? So one kind of technical progress would be supposedly my firm is there and I will be doing some kind of research and development. I am doing that research and development so that I can earn profits from those, from that research and development. So this is like the incentive for the innovator to do research and development, right? So what I do is I'm going to deliberately divert resources from my current productive activity so that I can increase the future progress. I apni aaj ki current productivity se, current production se, resources utha ke, agle aane wale samay mein, jo profits aane wale hai, unko badane ki cheshta karne ke liye R&D karta. Ye R&D mujhe aage aane wale time mein profits de. There can be two kinds of innovation. One is product innovation, other is process innovation. So product innovation is easier. Product innovation is when uh, you try to develop a new product in the market, right? Completely new product. iPhone was a completely new product. Then you have process innovation. So when the same thing is being produced, but the processes are new, uh, there's a novel process which is taking less cost, less time to develop more of or to produce more output. That is process innovation. Achha, then the technical progress can also come through. My firm has done research and development. But that knowledge is not going to remain only with me. That knowledge is going to be diffused to other firms also. And those firms are going to use this knowledge, right? Uh, and <clears throat> maybe there are some products which are developed uh, not only for my own profits. So sometimes uh, some kind of research is being done so that the further research could be made better off. Uh, not only to produce in current time something which is better, but aage aane wale mein bhi kuch aur better or produce ho jaye is research to use karke. So transfer of technical knowledge that occurs from the innovating firm to the rest of the world. Meri firm ne jo research and development kari, us research and development ka fayda aur firms ko bhi hua because unho ne meri knowledge se apni knowledge ko badaya aur wo transfer ho gai knowledge. Right? You cannot keep knowledge. Dusri baat. Ye jo knowledge thi ये जो नॉलेज मैंने गेन करी बाय डूइंग रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट इन माय फर्म वन इट इज नोन टू द आउटसाइड वर्ल्ड हु कैन प्रॉफिट फ्रॉम इट डायरेक्टली मतलब मेरी फर्म ने रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट करा दूसरी फर्म्स ने मेरी फर्म की नॉलेज का फायदा उठाया अपने प्रोसेसेस अपने प्रोडक्ट्स को बेहतर करा उससे रेस्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड का प्रॉफिट बढ़ा New technology may lead groundwork for the other innovative technology. So I have done some kind of research, right? But that has laid the groundwork for even the better technology. So before iPhone, iPod was developed. Maybe that was the groundwork for the better technology. Uh, so that was there. <laughs> Achha, other thing is, there are those people, those firms who have not done the original research, they have used my own knowledge only. And uh, from, th from that knowledge, they have profited. So what they have done? Huh? Innovator has sort of internalized the profit. So in which though that kind of research and development which is done by me for my own profit only, it's like internalizing the profit or internalizing the innovation, right? It's <clears throat> when when new technology is going to lead as a groundwork for the innovative activity. Hmm. 
जो रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट है दैट इज गोइंग टू मेक दिस रिसर्च नोन टू दी आउटसाइड वर्ल्ड वेरी वाइडली वेरी वाइड ऐसा भी हो सकता है कि जो रिसर्च मैंने करी है वो दुनिया को पता लगे तो दैट वो अपने जिस तरह से भी उसको यूज करना चाहे वो करे सच ट्रांसफर्स माइट स्लो डाउन द रेट ऑफ डिलीवरेट टेक्निकल प्रोग्रेस अब अगर मेरे मैंने रिसर्च करा है और मैं चाहता हूं कि वाइडली नोन होता रहे राइट दिस इज वाइडली दिस वुड बी वाइडली नोन टू द रेस्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड मे बी आई डू नॉट हैव टू सम अदर फॉर्म डू नॉट हैव टू डिलिबरेटली मीन सॉर्ट ऑफ transfer resources from the current productive activity to increase future profit because some other form has already done that research so the deliberate technical progress hai that i mean such transfers are going to slow down that process so when it take a bahut sari forms ye sochenge ki hamare ko kya zarurat hai humko apne profits mil hi jayenge dusre ki knowledge se mil jayenge the process of diffusion might itself spur more innovation bilkul sahi baat hai so when the diffusion of knowledge is going to take place more people will be attracted towards it more people who are innovator kind they will be they will be attracted towards it and they will try to that is going to spur more innovation that is going to increase even more innovation that is there right acha one point is when you talk about diffusion uh, when you talk about diffusion then this theory of technical progress is it more near to perfect competition or is it, or is it more near to monopolistic competition uh, or something in which the firm has a monopoly kind of a power well i will answer this towards the last towards the end of the video the reason be <clears throat> agar ye technical progress perfectly com perfect competition ke sath hai matlab bahut paas hai perfectly competitive firm ke तो इसका मतलब है कि बहुत ज्यादा कॉस्ट नहीं लग रही राइट इट इज वेरी इजी टू एंटर एंड एग्जिट द मार्केट एनीबडी कुड रेप्लिकेट द सेम काइंड ऑफ प्रोडक्ट लेकिन हम भी देखेंगे थ्योरी जो है इट इज मोर नियर टू द मोनोपोलिस्टिक कंपटीशन इट इज मोर नियर टू द फर्म्स हैविंग सम काइंड ऑफ पावर ओवर देयर ओन इनोवेशन वो पावर कैसे डालेंगे थ्रू पेटेंट्स थ्रू कॉपीराइट्स और that is one thing then you have a simple model of deliberate technical progress a simple model of deliberate technical progress ab dekhiye to what is h h is the stock of human capital right what is h h is the stock of human capital and that human capital human capital by mean i mean though, though that labor which is educated which is skilled that can be employed in the machine sector that can be employed in the research sector in the machine sector when they will be employed they will be producing more final goods in the research sector when they will be employed they will be doing r and d which is going to increase the productivity of the firm in the future and hence the profits of the firm in the future right production it can be done through of course it has to be done through capital and labor machines and labor and the labor you have skilled labor also right in machines in machines you can see <coughs> et this index et is all machines which are there from 0 to t time period from 0 to t time period all machines which are there from 0 to t time period that is et right r and d ke sath aap agle period ki uske agle period mein aur machines banate ja sakte right you can build up more machines with r and d aur ye machines karenge kya what these machines are going to do these machines are going to produce more output in the future productively in machines ke sath aap aur zyada produce kar sakte hain productively then 
या फिर एक और व्यू ये है कि ऐसा नहीं है कि एक मशीन दूसरी मशीन से ज्यादा प्रोडक्टिव है नॉट लाइक दैट देर इज एन अनदर व्यू बट वी विल मेनली टेक अप दिस व्यू देर इज एन अनदर व्यू विच देवराज सर गिव्स विच नो मशीन इज मोर प्रोडक्टिव देन दी अदर but the ability to disperse production among different varieties is itself conducive to production aisa nahi hai ki jo machines hain wo aur productive hain dusri machines se nothing like that uh, but they can disperse the production uh, among different varieties alag alag tarah ki machines alag alag tarah ki cheeze produce kar sakti hain which is more conducive to the production but we'll take Generally, the first view. Y t is equal to e t to the power gamma k t to the power alpha u h to the power one minus alpha. E t kya? E t is a technical knowing how to time period t, right? What is k t? K t is the capital stock till time period t. U is the fraction of human capital which is devoted to the production of final goods. आपको मैंने बताया ना? कि जो ह्यूमन कैपिटल है वो मशीन सेक्टर में भी हो सकती है और रिसर्च सेक्टर में भी हो सकती है तो यू इज अ फ्रैक्शन ऑफ ह्यूमन कैपिटल विच इज डिवोटेड टू द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ फाइनल गुड्स राइट या तो वो मशीन बनाए या फाइनल गुड्स बनाए या फिर वो रिसर्च सेक्टर है ई टी टू द पार गामा के टी टू द पार एल्फा इट मीन्स वॉट इट इज अ ज्वाइंट इफेक्ट ऑफ वॉट ऑफ मशीन and their productivity that is the joint effect of machines and productivity and then you have research sector see new knowledge is going to come from what it is going to come from whatever knowledge you have right now plus uh, amount of human capital which you are engaging in research and development because those people who are engaged in research they will bring out new ideas they will bring out new knowledge and their knowledge is also going to be built up on the existing knowledge so that is going to bring new knowledge uh-huh. and then you see like this <clears throat> then you see like this this is the growth in uh, your knowledge et plus 1 minus et upon et and this you say that is a 1 minus u into h so what is this rh is telling you note that one important thing is uh, this thing is not exogenous so this growth of knowledge that is not exogenous so this is not exogenous why do you say so one this is dependent upon human capital human capital is capital which is going to be built by education Built by skills, that is not exogenous. And human capital is also going to affect the productivity. Human capital itself is going to affect the technical progress. So this thing is not exogenous. This is endogenous. This is endo- a is any constant. One minus u is the proportion of the human capital which is engaged in the research sector. h is the human capital so how are you going to allocate human capital in the two sectors that is going to be captured by you that is going to be captured by you this you this you is the proportion of the human capital engaged in the production of final goods one minus u is the proportion of human capital engaged in the uh, research and development as when you are allocating the human capital between two sectors what are you doing you are sort of going to do a certain kind of trade off between what you are going to produce today vis-a-vis what you can produce tomorrow so if if you are going to employ jo sari ki sari human capital who are uh, final goods ke liye produce kar rahe the aaj ki production bad jayegi लेकिन उस ह्यूमन कैपिटल को जिसको तुम स्किल्स दे सकते थे जिसको तुम एजुकेट कर सकते थे वो ज्यादा प्रोडक्टिव हो सकती थी वो बेटर टेक्नोलॉजी बना सकती थी और कहीं गुना ज्यादा कल प्रोड्यूस कर सकती थी उससे ट्रेड ऑफ करो राइट सो दिस ट्रेड ऑफ इज नॉट सिंपल 
So that is what governments have to choose. So how is this you chosen? One, there could be a benevolent government. Or it is also chosen by the private economic actors. So, benevolent government is usko dekhna padega ki bhai mujhe to kuch is tarah se kaam karna hai benevolent government ke mujhe dekhna padega ki main aaj kitna produce karu aur kal kitna produce karna chahta hu meri country aaj kitna produce kar sakti hai aur wo kal kitna produce karna chahte hai right so unko dekhna padega because agar hum ye sochenge hum sab kuch kal hi karenge to aaj ki problem ko kaun dekhta hai right but again that is what Uh, policy makers have to decide and it is also being decided by the private economic actors why bhai dekhiye agar ye private players hi hain jo mainly innovate karte hain wo innovate karte kyun they are innovating for economic gain what is economic gain profits ab inko bhi to protection chahiye agar ye profit ke liye kaam kar rahe hain aap inse profit chhin lijiye इनके पास कोई इंसेंटिव नहीं दिया जाता काम करने का सो दे हैव टू बी गिवन सम काइंड ऑफ प्रोटेक्शन इन टर्म्स ऑफ लॉ पेटेंट प्रोटेक्शन एंड एट लीस्ट फॉर द लिमिटेड टाइम पीरियड वी आर गोइंग टू प्रोटेक्ट यू नो बडी कैन कॉपी योर वर्क नो बडी कैन प्रोड्यूस द योर प्रोडक्ट अगेन आई मीन इवन इफ ही नोस द टेक्नोलॉजी इवन इफ ही हैज ऑल द टेक्निकल स्किल ही स्टिल कैन नॉट प्रोड्यूस इट यू हैव पेटेंटेड राइट it is also going to be decided by i mean the rate of diffusion of knowledge to outsiders so how much outsiders can understand um, the 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 knowledge of the r and d which I, which i have put in the knowledge of the innovation which i have put in and because of that whatever profits i am going to make so rate of diffusion of knowledge to outsiders but you have to understand अगर अगर तुम सारी के सारी नॉलेज आउटसाइडर्स को दे देते हो तो क्या इंसेंटिव रह जाता है प्रोड्यूस करने का और ना ही मुझे कोई पेटेंट प्रोटेक्शन नो न्यू नॉलेज वुड देन बी प्रोड्यूस फॉर द प्रॉफिट्स इट बिकम वेरी डिफिकल्ट सारी के सारी गवर्नमेंट्स के पास इतना इंसेंटिव होगा दैट्स अ क्वेश्चन अच्छा फिर इन्होंने ये भी कहा कि ये जो आप ये कर रहे हैं ना कि जो नॉलेज है दैट इज गोइंग टूवर्ड्स आउटसाइडर्स गोइंग गोइंग इट इज डिफ्यूज टू आउटसाइडर्स तो ये सब चीजें क्या परफेक्टली कंपेटिटिव मार्केट में हो सकते हैं अब उसमें तो इट नथिंग टू रेप्लीकेट मार्जिन कॉस्ट ऑलरेडी बहुत कम होती है परफेक्टली कंपेटिटिव मार्केट और अगर परफेक्टली कंपेटिटिव मार्केट में मार्जिन कॉस्ट बहुत कम होती है तो मेरे पास क्या रीजन है कि मैं ज्यादा कोई भी आर एन डी करूं बिकॉज आर एन डी करना भी अपने आप में खर्चा है आई विल हैव नो इंसेंटिव टू प्रोड्यूस फॉर प्रॉफिट टू डू इनोवेट टू डू इनोवेशन फॉर प्रॉफिट सो इट सीम्स लाइक दिस थ्योरी इज वॉट सॉफ सॉ ऑफ नियर टू मोनोपोलिस्टिक आप कुछ प्रोटेक्शन तो आपको देना पड़ेगा टू इनोवेटर्स दैट टू एटलीस्ट टेम्परली temporarily you have to provide some kind of protection so that act as an incentive to that act as an incentive to right so this is what i wanted to do in this class this is the technical progress and human capital section this is i think chapter 4 of the introduction so i hope it was of some use to you thank you very much